Good evening, CLC. I'm Naomi Feda. So glad you're joining me here this evening. Um, so as you know, um, I've been just talking a lot about peace lately. And um, along with that, Pastor Rick on Sundays has been talking about um, the kingdom of God and kingdom culture. And um, you know how we grow that, that culture in our own lives. And I think predominantly by just really spending time with the Lord and um, I definitely have been going through a season in my life where um, it seems like there's a lot of storms so I wanted to just share with you I was reading um, another excerpt from the book Secrets of the Secret Place um, this morning and it just spoke to me so deeply um, and I'm going to share it with you it's from chapter 7 and so it says, the closer we draw to the Lord in intimacy, the more real the warfare will be we encounter. Um, Francis, okay, so here's a name I can't pronounce. Um, we're just going to say Francis F because I have no idea how to pronounce this last name. Described it with the phrase, new levels, new devils. As the attacks increase, our cries only intensify. Hide me. While the body and soul may be afflicted with increasing harassment and abuse, the spirit is finding a place of greater protection, rest, and intimacy under the shadow of the Almighty. The spirit draw thus draws us into a place of greater spiritual peace and comfort, which only inflames the soul with a greater passion for Jesus, which in turn only feeds the ire of our tormentors. May you have grace to make the decision now, my friend. Lose your life and pursue the secret place of the Most High. It is the way of the cross. The cross is where we sustain great assaults, but there is no safer place in the universe to be. How I long to direct your heart to this place of refuge. Our winds swirling around your head run to the Lord. A refuge is something you flee into. A refuge doesn't automatically erect itself around you. You have to seek it out and run into its shelter for safe harbor. As the scriptures say, that by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we might have strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us. If God is to be our refuge, you must flee to him. The cry is, O Lord, I am about to be consumed. I run to you. Hide me. Be my strong refuge to which I may resort continually. Psalm 71.3 Thank you, Lord, for the gift of the secret place. You know, I just love that because um, how often I think that when I am in the middle of the storm, um, what do we want? We want God to just take it away um, and then think that peace will come when God takes away our storm. Um and yet more and more, God is teaching me that he doesn't always take away the storm. Um, sometimes he um, just gives us peace and becomes that secret place in the storm. And um, that actually becomes our testimony, really, um, when we can share with others how God carried us through something in um, a rather supernatural way. And, you know... Um, it's it's back to the the verses in Romans that all things work together for good to those who love God and what I didn't always remember or didn't always pick up on that verse was that um, he's working all things for good so that we might be conformed to his image so it doesn't mean that he's working all things for good so that we can have an easy life or that um, we'll have the outcome that we want, but he's working all things for good so that um, we might become like Christ. So I just want to read that for a minute. Um, here, it's in um, Romans 8, 28. Um, I might start a little earlier. In verse 26, And in the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we should, but the Spirit himself intercedes us with groanings too deep for words. And he who searches the heart knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. 
And we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to become conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. And whom he predestined, these he called, and whom he called, he also justified, and whom he justified, he also glorified. And so whatever it is that you're going through, um, whatever storm might be assaulting your life, um, you know, just running to that secret place. Um, it is possible to um, have a peaceful heart in the midst of a storm. And um, it is a battle. It's a battle to fight for that peace. It's a battle to um, enter into the secret place and just receive um, a calmness that um, God is just giving you um, that he has available to you and it's a growing process so certainly we don't all um, get there um, it's not like I have peace in the midst of my um, situation all the time <laughs> definitely I have um, moments where I'm freaking out and um, yet I know that the more and more that I draw um, near to him that he gives peace and he just gives assurance that um, this battle doesn't belong to me. It's it's his battle and um, whatever your battle is, um, it's God's battle and just keep pressing into him. So God bless you and look forward to seeing you soon um, in person or online. Love you all. If you'd like to stay in touch, you can find us on Facebook, um, YouTube, Instagram. You can like and subscribe our channel and stay connected.